Dr. Persinger is a neuroscientist. He believes that God resides in our brains. In fact, he even thinks he knows in which part of the brain. All he has to do to create this God experience is place this yellow helmet on his subject's head. He calls it the God helmet. After putting Dominica into a sealed chamber with no light, the research team will monitor her brainwave activity for one hour. In a few minutes, Dominica's brainwaves start to order themselves into a relaxed pattern. Then Dr. Persinger activates a magnetic coil sitting over the right side of her brain. It's no more powerful than a hair dryer, but it's designed to focus its energy on a small set of brain cells in the right temporal lobe. Those cells, he believes, will stimulate in Dominica a sense that someone or something is present. And it says you felt the presence of something. Yeah, there's like other things around me. Dr. Persinger's work raises the extraordinary possibility, not just that spiritual experiences can be induced, but that some of the most intense and influential religious visions in history may have their root in nothing more than the wiring of the human brain. Abraham, Moses, Native American shamans. Almost all religious leaders and spiritual guides have attested that they were struck by vivid and thunderous messages from the Creator Himself. In the history of religious experience, many of the great religious thinkers have had electrical lability in the temporal lobe. And really the great challenge to science, and this is the exciting part, you've seen a few examples of the crude stimuli when we apply magnetic fields, but what about natural stimuli? What about stimuli that are manufactured or manipulated by societies? What about intrinsic chemical changes? And what about all those stimuli we don't know yet that can produce the most powerful experience in the history of humankind, the God experience?